Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths by Varakumar. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem from the chapter Progressions exercise 6.3, eighth problem. So see student what he has given. If the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is 4n minus n square, uh, what is the first term? So he has given an enter, it is s1. And uh, what is the sum of the two terms? What is the second term? similarly find the third the tenth and the nth terms so very important student already it has been asked two three times for four more problem so very important so before that we have to analyze what he has given in the problem what we have to find so see student what he has given the sum of the first n terms of an ap so that is sn he has given so in an arithmetic progression sum of the first n terms it is denoted by Sn. Sn is equal to 4n minus n square he has given. 4n minus n square. So he is asking to find us the what is the first term. Actually the first term is denoted by a1 and what is the sum of two terms. Sum of two terms is denoted by S2. So what is the second term? The second term is denoted by A2. Similarly, the find the third term. So that is A3. The tenth term. So that is A10. And the nth terms. And An. So these things we have to find student. By using Sn equal to 4n minus n square, we have to find the first term that is A1 sum of the two terms s2 second term a2 third term a3 tenth tenth term a10 and the nth term an so we have to find all this so before that we have to, we have to understand one thing so in an ap if there are suppose 2 4 6 8 10 dash dash up to 98 comma 100 so if there are 50 terms in an ap so like this all these are even numbers there will be 50 even numbers from 2 to 100 so he is asking to find as the suppose first term sum of the two terms i mean these two are the two terms student sum of the two terms is s2 so by adding these two we can get s2 2 plus 4 so we can get a sum of the two terms is equal to 6. So S3 we have to add these three terms. So S4 up to 4, S5 like this we have to find. Suppose sum of the one term. So this is known as a first term A1 is equal to 2. So it is also known as A is equal to 2. And sum of the first term means it is only. So it is also known as S1 is also 2. So sum of the first term or the first term or a1 or a or s1 it is a 2 only that is the first term. So in a series the first term is known as a small a small a is equal to 2. So see students suppose if I want to, to if I want to find the second term a2 so I know s2 and s1 so s2 means sum of these two. So A2 is equal to S2 and S1 means only the first one. So S2 minus S1. A2 how can we get student S2 minus S1. So S2 means 4 plus 2 that is 2 plus 4 minus S1 is 2 first term. So by cancelling these two we are getting the second one that is 4. So you have to remember this formula student. So A2 is equal to what? S2 minus S1. In the same way, if I want to find the third term, it can be written as S3 minus S2. S3 minus S2. So S3 means up to these three terms, sum of these three. S2 means sum of these two only. So by subtracting sum of these three, these two we can get A3. A3 is equal to S3 minus S2. Suppose I want C student, S3 means 2 plus 4 plus 6. So this is S3. 2 plus 4 plus 6 is S3. 
minus s2 sum of the first two terms that is 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 that is uh, right 2 plus 4 plus 6 minus 2 minus 4 by multiplying minus plus 2 minus 2 plus 4 minus 4 we can get only 6 6 is nothing but the third term a3 so you have to remember this formula student uh, a n is equal to a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 so this is the formula student you have to remember a n is the nth term or last term so suppose this is the last term student how can we find the last term so sum of all the terms that is s n minus sum of the n minus 1 terms that is s n minus 1 suppose if there are 50 terms in the series so here a 50 is equal to how can we get s 50 minus s 49 s 50 minus s 49 s 50 means sum of the 50 terms up to here minus s 49 means sum of the all these terms so like this we can find simply have to remember a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 so student now we have to write the terms suppose i want to find the first term so the first term a1 is equal to how can we find a1 is s1 itself so next i want to find the a2 second term how can we find s2 minus s1 so suppose i want to find the third term a3 is equal to how can we find s3 minus s2 i want to find the fourth term a4 is equal to how can we find student s4 minus s3 suppose if i want to find the tenth term a10 is equal to how can we find s10 minus s9 suppose if i want to find the a hundredth term how can we find s100 minus s99 so if i want to find a nth term a n is equal to how can we find s n minus s n minus 1 so these things you have to remember student then you can solve very easily so but uh, he has given here s n s n is equal to 4 n minus n square he has given but how can we find s1 s2 by substituting n is equal to 1 we can get s1 by substituting n equal to 2 we can get s2 so we can get all the values like this we can find a1 s2 a2 a3 a10 and a n so this is the analyzation of the problem student first you have to read the problem carefully so you have to write what he has given what we have to find so now this is the analysis now we have to solve the problem now we have to find the solution student see how can we find the solution So in an AP, in an arithmetic progression, in an arithmetic progression, the sum of the first n terms it is denoted by S n is equal to 4 n minus n square. So let it is equation number one. So the sum of the n terms he has given that is denoted by S n is equal to 4 n minus n square. So by substituting n equal 1, 2, 3, 4, we can get S1, S2, S3 and so on. So if n is equal to 1, if n is equal to 1, it is s1 is equal to. So 4 into 1 minus 1 whole square. So 4 into 1 is 4 minus 1 square is 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. So simply we have to substitute n equal to 1 student. So s1 is equal to 4 into 1 that is 4 minus n square 1 square 4 into 1 is 4 1 square is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 so next uh, if n is equal to 2 we get s2 s2 is equal to 4 into 2 minus uh, 2 square 4 into 2 is 8 minus 2 square is 4 8 minus 4 is 4 so in the same way if n is equal to 3 s3 three is equal to so 4 into 3 minus 3 square just we have to substitute n equal to 3 in sn so 4n is there 4 into 3 minus 3 square 
so that is 4 into 3 is 12 minus 3 square is 9 12 minus 9 is 3 12 minus 9 is 3 so see student here what he is asking to find as what is the first term the first one is the first term the first term a1 is equal to s1 itself s1 is equal to how much student 3 so this is the first term so what is the sum of the two terms that is s2 sum of the two terms is s2 sum of the two terms uh, that is s2 s2 is there student s t equal to how much we have s t is equal to 4 so next what is the second term so we have second term is equal to second term is denoted by a2 student it can be written as s2 minus s1 second term is a2 it can be written as s2 minus s1 so we have s2 value it is 4 minus s1 is 3 so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so here a2 is equal to second term is how much student 1 second term is 1 so next what he is asking what is the second term the second term is 1 similarly find the third term so third term a3 is equal to so third term is denoted by a3 student a3 is equal to how can we find s3 minus s2 so we have s3 value so that is a3 is equal to s3 value how much student 3 minus s2 value how much student s2 equal to 4 so 3 minus 4 is equal to minus 1 third term is minus 1 so third term the tenth term so tenth term a10 tenth term is denoted by a10 is equal to s10 minus s9 so first you have to find s10 and s9 so how can we get s10 by substituting n is equal to 10 in equation 1 we can get s10 so s10 is equal to 4 into 10 minus 10 square since from 1 from equation 1 by substituting n is equal to 2 uh, n equal to 10 we can get so 4 into 10 is 40 minus 10 square is 100 40 minus 100 is minus 60 so next s9 so how can we get s9 student by substituting n equal to 9 in equation 1 we can get s9 so s9 is equal to 4 into 9 minus 9 square since from equation 1 again from equation 1 so 4 into 9 is 36 minus 9 square is 81 so 36 minus 81 how much student minus 45 minus 45 so therefore we have to find 10th term therefore a 10 is equal to how much s 10 minus s 9 s 10 we have how much student minus 60 minus s 9 is minus 45 so already here one more minus uh, open bracket here so minus 60 minus into minus plus 45 minus 60 plus 45 is minus 15 so this is the tenth term so and the nth term he is asking so we have to find the nth term also student so how can we find nth term so nth term is equal to the nth term nth term is denoted by a n student a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 s n minus s n minus we have s n but we don't have s n minus 1 before that we have to find s n minus 1 so therefore s n minus 1 is equal to so how can we get s n minus 1 in s n substitute n is equal to n minus 1 we can get s n minus 1 wherever n is there substitute n minus 1 so s n minus 1 is equal to 4 into n is there that is 4 into n minus 1 minus n square is there that is n minus 1 whole square 
simply we have to substitute instead of n n minus 1 in sn student we can get sn minus 1 so now i am simplifying 4 into n minus 1 is 4 n minus 4 minus it is a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2 a b that is n square plus 1 minus 2 n <coughs> so i am simplifying 4 n minus 4 multiply by minus minus n square minus 1 plus 2n so just i have multiplied by my negative sign student so here minus n square minus 1 minus into minus plus 2n so see student how how much we can get so 4n plus 2n is 6n so minus n square minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 so 6n minus n square minus 5 this is s n minus 1 student so just we have to see student n minus 1 it is a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2 a b so a square is n square b square is 1 minus 2 a b is 2 into 1 so just we have to simplify therefore we have a n is equal to therefore a n is equal to s n minus s n minus 1 so s n value we have 4n minus n square that is i am writing 4n minus n square open bracket minus close and I write open bracket 6n minus n square minus 5 so just i am writing s n minus 1 this is it. so now i have to simplify 4n minus n square multiply by minus it becomes minus 6n it becomes minus into minus plus n square minus into minus plus 5 simply you have to multiply with negative sign it becomes minus 6n minus into minus plus n square minus into minus plus 5 student here minus n square plus n square gets cancelled here 4n minus 6n is minus 2n before that we have to write the positive so 5 minus 2n so this is the nth term so see student what he has asked all the values we have to write here therefore first the first term he has given so the first term the first term the first term is equal to how much student the first term a1 is equal to x1 itself is equal to 3 comma next what the sum of the two terms sum of the two terms it is s2 student sum of the two terms sum of the two terms is s2 is equal to how much student sum of the two terms it is equal to 4 comma next what is the second term the second term is equal to how much student second term is equal to second term is equal to a2 a2 is equal to 1 comma next what he is asking find the third term the third term is equal to third term third term is equal to it is a3 student how much third term is minus 1 comma the tenth term tenth term is equal to tenth term a 10 student how much it is tenth term is equal to how much student a 10 equal to minus 15 minus 15 so the nth term and nth term equal to and the nth term is equal to 2 5 minus 2n 5 minus 2n so that's all student so these things he has asked we have written all the